Hi, thank you for calling eSeptica's customer service. This is Adev. How can I help you? Yeah, I would like to book a reservation, please. Do you have a um, booking reservation with us now already? No, I'm here to make a new one. All right. Since you want to book a new reservation, ma'am, I'll transfer you over to the right department who can help you, okay? Just okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hello, thanks for calling Gay Sub Tickets. My name is Shelly. How can I help you? Yeah, I'm calling to make a reservation. Mm -hmm. Can you give me the flight details? So your yeah. destination, your departure. I want to leave Indianapolis, Indiana, and I want to go to Orlando, Florida. Okay, so uh, which city are you departing from? Indianapolis, Indiana. Okay. And going to? Orlando. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, which, which are your travel dates? I want to leave on June the 1st. Mm-hmm. And I want to come back on June the 6th. The 6th of June. Okay. And how many passengers will be flying? Two. Two adults, yes? Okay. So, departing from Indianapolis on the 1st of June, going to Orlando, and coming back on the 6th of June, correct? Yeah. Okay. All right. So let me see. Okay, one moment. Uh, do you have any preferences uh, regarding the trip? Uh, I would like first class if that's possible. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Mm -hmm. I am not sure if there is first class for the local flights, but let me check maybe for the business. Okay. Mm, let me see. Okay, so let me see. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's say, do you have any other preferences? Could be a uh, specific time of the day you want to depart, or maybe, um, I don't know, a uh, specific airline. Um, that doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me see what can I get for you. Uh, but what about the stops? Are you okay to to have stops in your flight if they are not very long? Um, is that the only way I could get first class? So um, I'm not sure. Let me let me check. But as far as I know, the business could be an option. Uh, but. If you want, I can check for first class, but the idea that I'm not really sure that could be uh, for the local uh, first well, class. Well, if there's uh, no first class, I'll take business. Okay, okay. So, uh, instead of first class, I see here a flight within business class. Uh, departing from Indianapolis on the 1st of June, uh, you'll be having one stop in uh, Ronald Reagan National Airport for 37 minutes, and then you go directly to Orlando. Uh, coming back would be on the 6th of June. Uh, again, one stop this time in Charlotte Douglas. This is in the North Carolina for 34 minutes, and then you go back to Indianapolis. Uh, you will be flying with American Airlines. You have two baggages here included, and uh, the price for this one, for one passenger, would be $789 with all taxes and fees already here included. Did you say that's for one person or both people? For one person, ma'am. Okay, I'll, can I bring a carry-on? Uh, you have two baggages here included. Okay, I guess I'll take that one. Okay, so let me see one moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
find a moment, please, because I there is a. Okay, one moment. Uh, Ma'am, do you have as well an email where I can send you the, uh, the all the information, maybe? Did you say email? Mm-hmm. Do you have one? All right, I just made the email. I'm waiting for it to load right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let me check. I didn't okay. send anything or nothing. I'm, I just got it. Um, uh-huh. And you are going to send it, correct? Yeah, I'm going to send you. Uh, I made a Gmail account. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, then I'm waiting here, and I will forward the payment form on the new email you you will going to send. All right, me. I just sent it. Mm-hmm, let me see. So it's Jessica. Yeah, and then it's S-M-I-T. Nine nine four at gmail dot com. No problem. Okay. Okay. I will try now to send it from my uh, manager right away. The name of the manager would be Tr Troy. Okay. 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 So check it now. The title should be online authorization form. So tell me if you got it, okay? Yeah, I, it's in my spam folder. Okay, okay. So you got it, it means? Yeah. Okay, so uh, click on that. Click on online authorization form. Yeah, I clicked on it. Okay, then you scroll down until you'll see a red button which says proceed with payment. I click proceed with you... payment. Uh-huh. Yeah, I open the email. It took me to this page. Yes. Okay, very good. I see you open that. So, let me explain you what you have to do. So, we are seeing now flight details, correct? Yeah. Yes. So, you can see here the, 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 all the details. So, look, you have flight details. You have Wednesday, June 1st, departure. At 5.31 p.m., you will be departing from Indianapolis. You will be going to Dallas. In Dallas, you have a layover for two hours. And then from Dallas, you are flying to Orlando. Okay? Okay. And... And on the coming back, you'll be departing at 5 a.m. from Orlando. You'll have a short layover in Charlotte. And from Charlotte, you're going back to Indianapolis. So this uh, information you'll uh, have as well uh, in the email. Okay, so look, uh, passenger details. Uh, do you see that, passenger details? Where is it? Just scroll down a little bit, you'll see passenger details. Correct? Yeah, the payment information? No, no, no. So look, just scroll up from the beginning, from the beginning where it is written, flight details. Yeah, I see the you passenger see details, yeah. Okay, okay. So you see, passenger one, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So click on edit, you see a little pen and, and it is written, edit, you see? Yeah, I clicked it. Okay, so uh, correct the name, put the right name of your husband, because it was an error when I tried to, to, to do the name, to make the, to write the name. So instead of D-S-N, put D-A-N, and as I understand, it is not Smith with H at the end, but just Smith without uh, H, correct? And I got to put the date of his birth? Yes, and the gender. But did you, did you figure it out how to change the name? Yeah. Oh, great, great. Okay, Jessica. And you will do the same thing for you, for your name. And you put your date of birth and then your gender.
Let me know when you're done with that. All right, I changed it. Ah, okay. Then we have contact person. So here you put one of your emails and your phone number. All right, I put my phone number. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next, you see travel care service. Do you see that? Yeah. Yes. So look, dear. This is protection for your ticket. So let's say something happens. You want to change the dates uh, without paying any processing fee, which would be $250 for one passenger. You are protected, let's say, in case of... In case of hospitalization, in case of, I don't know, you just want to change the plane, the plans, and you want to, to choose another date. So by having yeah. this protection, it allows you to, to make a lot of things. So usually all my clients take either the all-included one, because it has a lot of benefits, either the premium one. So it, right here is up to you. And if you decide on taking either the premium, either the all-included, you'll see a little circle which says add. So you click on that circle. So I, would you rather, that circle. I would rather pick the basic because it's the cheapest one. Uh, then you have vacation planner. This is in case you want to, I don't know, to build your uh, vacancy or your trip. I mean, this is totally optional. You, we have our concierge department. They can call you, arrange for you a trip, uh, different restaurants, or, and so on. If you want that, you can click. Uh, after that, you'll see on your perfect trip with a vacation planner, either no thanks. So right here is up to you. Yeah, you can click I, no thanks. I clicked no thanks. Okay, okay. Next, we have payment information. So then you scroll down, you'll see credit card information. And here, here, you, here you have to put your credit card number. Then expiration date, security CVV, and the cardholder name, just as on the, uh, on the credit card. And then you will see bank phone number. The bank phone number, dear, is usually on the other part of your credit card. Look, if you don't see it, you just tell me what bank are you using. I will search that information, and I will tell you what number you have to put there. But for right now, you just put your credit card number. Yeah, my husband is at work right now, and he mm -hmm. doesn't want me to put in credit card information over the computer. So I'm just going to have to wait until he gets back home and call back later. Uh, when will be that? In how many hours? Um, probably five or six hours from now. Mm, you see that the thing is that I finish my shift in three hours. Well, That's the idea. he's off tomorrow. I'll, I'll just have to call back tomorrow. Uh, okay, let me see. Yeah. But why you don't can you don't have uh, you cannot put the the card number? Because he wants to wait until he's here with me until I do it. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, uh, Jessica. Then uh, you said in how many hours? Six. Yeah, and. I just looked everywhere for my card and I couldn't find it. I think he has it on him at work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, look. Uh let me see. If I will be in six hours here, uh I will call you back. If not, I will give you a call tomorrow. Is that okay? Yeah. Look, and dear, write down my direct phone number because this is my manager's number. And that one you called me, it was the general line. So right now, please uh, write down my direct phone number. All right. Okay. So it's 877. 877. Mm-hmm. 893. 893. Yeah. Zero eight zero eight forty two forty two Yes. All right, I, I wrote it seven, down. Seven. 
Okay, okay. So my name is Shelly once again, and let's do that way, Jessica. Let me uh, call you either in six hours, either I will call you tomorrow, dear, and we will complete it together. Is that okay? Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay, okay, dear. All right, then talking to you tomorrow, right? Yeah. Okay, you have a wonderful day and take care. You too, bye-bye. Thank you, bye-bye.